Welcome back. I hope you enjoy this wonderful book called Clifford's Big Red Reader. And I'm going to read the first story out of this book. It was a beautiful fall day on Birdwell Island. Cleo, Clifford, and T-Bone were making leaf piles. Cleo finished her pile of leaves. They were red, yellow, orange, gold, and brown. She counted. One, two, three, and jumped in. Clifford finished his pile of leaves. They were red, yellow, orange, gold, and brown. He counted. One, two, three, and jumped in. T-Bone's pile was not finished yet. T-Bone's pile had only brown leaves. Brown leaves make a nice loud sound. I need more leaves, T-Bone said. I will help, said Clifford. I will help too, said Cleo, and they did. T-Bone's pile of leaves was ready, but T-Bone had to go home. It was time for him to go for a walk. I will watch your leaves, said Clifford. They will be safe with me, I promise. You are a good friend, said T-Bone. And a happy T-Bone trotted off. Clifford watched the pile of leaves. He watched and watched some more. This is a very nice leaf pile, he said. I can't wait to hear its loud sound. We could jump in carefully so we don't mess it up, said Cleo. Yes, we could, said Clifford. Then let's jump, said Cleo. Cleo and Clifford ran to the pile and jumped in with a big, crunch. The leaves flew. A strong wind blew them everywhere. Oh no, said Clifford. Clifford and Cleo chased T-Bone's leaves. One leaf was on a weather vane. Another leaf was under the mail truck. Clifford and Cleo found a leaf on a swing in the playground. They found a leaf on some french fries. Clifford and Cleo found every one of the missing leaf. This is a great leaf pile, said Clifford. I can't wait to hear the noise it makes, said Cleo. We could jump in, Clifford said. But we won't, they said together. T-Bone came back. His pile looked even bigger and better than before. Thank you for watching my leaves, he said to Clifford. I want you to be the first to jump in. We must tell you the truth. We already jumped into your pile. All your leaves flew away, Clifford said. But Cleo and I got them back. I'm sorry, T-Bone. I'm glad you told me the truth, said T-Bone. I still want you to jump in first. So Clifford jumped in with a big crunch. Then Cleo and T-Bone jumped in. Crunch, crunch. And the three friends enjoyed the rest of the beautiful fall day. The end.